What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Chris Cano with Cano Films. I'm Dathan DeVore. You guys all know Dathan. Best friends. It's been over 20 years. Amazing friendship. Dude, you guys noticed Dathan from all the videos. Amazing drummer. First of all, we just want to say that we were going to cover David Bowie's latest song, Where Are We Now? But it's tough. And because it's Bowie. And we don't want to touch Bowie, dude. We don't. We can't touch Bowie. He's just too good. Moving on, what we wanted to do, we asked you guys to ask us some questions and we will respond to all of your questions via video blog. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start that segment of the show. This question comes from Joshua McDowell from uh, Texas. Uh, how much money would it take for you to fulfill your dream project? Who'd star in it and what would the premise be? You know, I haven't really given that much thought. I know people ask me all the time, are you gonna do a full length feature one day? I'm like, yeah, maybe one of these days, but I think one that really has potential, I think would be Jizzy J. Heart of a Lion, I'm in love with the 80s, and I just think it had a really fun feel. I think I think what he said, in a sense for me, going from the 80s into the 90s. So you're saying if, if you had a project, a premise, yeah. it should be musical and not video. More musical, yeah. I get goosebumps sometimes when I listen to 90s music. If I could recreate music, it would have to be a little bit of the 90s uh, back in the day. I think we need that. I, I'd probably bring in uh, Jack White. You know, White Stripes, but I think he's great. I think I want Bowie to sing a little bit on some stuff too. So I'd want to have some of the greatest songwriters that have come out in our day. It would totally be musical. All right, next comment comes from Heidi Sunshine. Heidi writes, I dare you and Dathan to do a rap battle. This is going to be good. Oh yeah. It's cold outside, it's 30, 30 degrees. Canote's a good host, he's here to please. Hot cocoa. Heidi writes a comment, asks us to do a rap. Dathan jumps in and says, make me a frat or a hot cocoa. A hot cocoa. We love hot cocoa, it's no surprise. Just look at Dathan, look at his eyes. Hot cocoa. A hot cocoa. A hot cocoa. A hot cocoa. Alright, next question. Andy Shy writes, is it awkward for you and Dathan DeVore to work together since you used to be lovers? No. no. The play with my nipples. <laughs> Jill Gillespie Halsey writes, who do you get your creativity from? Musically, I could say I get a lot of it from, um, I hate to say it, but I have to go all the way back to Led Zeppelin. I think I could take that all the way up into now in my style of playing. My creativity, I think, comes from, um, can't really explain it. It's more of an emotional feel. I don't know if a lot of it reflects back to my childhood. Anything that kind of reminds me of my childhood or a uh, good feeling, good emotional feeling, you know, anything that gives me goosebumps, that's usually what inspires me. You know, if I see something that just really just hits me emotionally, I'm a very emotional person, that's what's gonna get these wheels turning in my head, you know? I'd, I'd, say, I'd say now, all the way from Led Zeppelin, 70s rock, up into now, uh, rap, hip hop even. I think that, uh, you know, depending on where you're at, you know, whatever you're doing on the daily. If you're listening to a song that's gonna make you uh, uh, feel good and uh, enjoy life, it doesn't matter what you're listening to. Next comment is from Andy Shia. It says, I dare you to do part of the video in one of your wife's swimsuits. I can't believe you're wearing that. I feel so ashamed. Cassidy Quinn Brettler. Wait, Cassidy Quinn yes. Brettler? Do you guys know who this chick is? She's awesome. She's on YouTube. Get, look her up. Look up her channel. We'll link it below here. Cassidy yes. Quinn Brettler writes, What's your favorite Macklemore Thrift Shop cover other than your own? Ha ha ha, just kidding. Okay, that's what she wrote. She put a little wink there too. Tell you what, we're going to answer your question. <laughs> you need to check out her cover of Thrift Shop. It is hilarious. Uh, so I'm telling you guys, get on uh, YouTube, look up Cassidy Quinn Brettler, go to her channel, watch her thrift shop video. She's also got a Google baby spoof. You need to look it up. I know it's for Christmas, but you still need to watch. It's worth watching. Get you back in the Christmas spirit again. Well, 300 and <laughs> some odd days left till Christmas. Christian Rankin writes, I can't believe it's not butter. Can you? I don't know. There's this new butter that's out. It's mm -hmm. uh, It's got no calories. Oh. Yogurt, I think. Yogurt wow. butter. Oh. I like butter. I like butter too. You know, I had butter on waffles the other night. It was great. Butter crust. Butter crust, butter nipple scotch. You ever had one of those? <laughs> I've had butter on my toast. Have you ever had butter on roast beef? I usually like to put butter on a small baby bird. It actually goes deep into his soul and it tastes um, like sorrow. I think I saw <laughs> Tina Sutherland Ainsworth writes, I dare you both to drink a bottle of hot sauce. We'll do it. 
We'll I mean, really do it I'll if do you really it. want us to I, have I our will... esophagus swell up and shut. I'll just be at the hospital. You know, I'll be in room yeah. 102. 103. Which, yeah, it's usually where they put us yeah, when we do stupid stuff. <laughs> yep. Drinking hot sauce, especially when you like to put it up my... All right, next question. Joshua McDowell writes again, will you ever do a foreign language film dubbed back into English? Well, Josh, to answer your question, I really haven't thought about it. I probably don't plan on it. So, um, yeah. Uh, what about you, Dathan? Well, uh, I think that uh, I like all languages. Heidi Sunshine asks, what is your all-time favorite movie? I'm going to go ahead and just say The Goonies because I can watch that movie so many times. It's just what inspired me to make film. Batman, Michael Keaton, 1989. The other night, I watched Mary Tyler Moore's show. <laughs> I know awesome. it sounds ridiculous. No, it's awesome. Uh, it's not the best show, guys. I disagree. I think uh, Mary Tyler Moore is fantastic. Nate Eady asks, what's your ultimate goal with Canote Films? I don't really have a goal except just to keep entertaining people. I enjoy what I do. I, it's not work to me. I've always been making movies since I was a little kid, but I never knew I could make a career out of it. Before I know it, MySpace, I made yeah. a funny video, and they featured one of my videos on their homepage of MySpace. It got over a million views overnight, but then some opportunities started coming in. Next thing I know, uh, I'm doing video full time. So yeah, it's what I love to do. I get paid to do it and it's fantastic. Musically, yeah, I can say that um, I want to be able to uh, contribute my talents as best as I can, whether it be jazz, pop, rock and roll, blues, metal, whatever. You know, I, I always want to continue to keep learning. You never stop learning. I want to be able to exude as much uh, passion and as much drive and as much uh, determination to, to let the crowd feel it. Somebody told me a while back, just as simple a statement. I've, I've never heard this before in all the years I've been playing. He said, man, I just got goosebumps after watching you guys. That to me was a statement of all statements to me. And that's pretty cool because that, that dug into his core, you know, and he was glad to be there. I'm thankful for uh, any opportunity I get musically. All right, next question. Timmy Roman asks, cinnamon challenge? No. No, 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 we're not doing that. I went so bad. 